name's Natasha and welcome to Talk of the Town. We're here today in Kingsbury for a special episode just for you guys at home. We are covering the KMK Masquerade Ball. We've got a night full of dancing, full of mayhem, full of food. A night especially for you guys at home to get involved in. So I'm ready. I've got my mask in tow. Let's go and see where all the action is. I'm delighted to be standing here with the actual president of the organization and the general secretary. Welcome to the program. How are you tonight? Fine. I'm fine. Thanks. Well, I'm sure the, tonight's event is going to be a huge success and certainly people are buzzing outside. I'd like to know how you became involved in the organization. I've been involved in the organization for the last 15 years. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the organization is actually over 40 years old. And we've been established since 1968. Uh, it's, it's a community. Uh, whose roots origin from Madhapur, which is the uh, largest village in Kutch, which is the, the area in Gujarat. And we've been organizing events in a such a way that all our members really enjoy. That's, you know, the variety, whether it's children, whether it's adults, whether it's youngsters. So we organize many different types of events that they would enjoy. And to keep the families together. That's, that's our aim. And that's a wonderful aim. What, what do you, would you like to say to people at home who would like to get involved in the organization? They ought to come to our events. They ought to come to our meetings. They ought to give some suggestions. And, you know, we can cater for different type of, you know, the, the new generation is changing. We know that. So we're trying to modify our events accordingly. So I'm hoping that younger generation will join us and will help us organize the new events and keep the families together. That's our aim. And that's a wonderful aim. Now, I'm moving over to the General Secretary. What's your name? My name is Shanta Siani. And how long have you been a member of this organization? Uh, I've been a member for 10 years, but I've been helping before that as well, just as a volunteer, but then I've taken the main course for the past 10 years. Mm -hmm. And tell me, what inspired you for tonight's Masquerade Ball? Okay, we've been uh, doing a dinner and dance for past uh, about 25 years, but past three to four years, we've been doing a theme. Mm -hmm. And uh, we find that when we do the theme that we get a lot of youngsters coming as well because there's a lot of the dinner and dance is happening nowadays. It's not like before that, you know, that one just organizes and is doing in five or ten years time. Mm -hmm. So we, we did like um, uh, African theme last year, Arabian theme. This year we decided that masquerade is a bit of a modern theme. Mm -hmm. Um, message I want to pass today is that like uh, it takes a lot of time and effort to organize a dinner and dance like we do. Um, uh, we've got a very very dedicated team who is expert in uh, like you must have seen um, we got um, a, a photo area where they make a sort of uh, props and things like that and uh, this particular one we thought that this is the first time ever we have done uh, for uh, full charity which is uh, children in need mm -hmm. um, i'd like to ask you what inspired you because mostly when for particularly with asian uh, charities we tend to have the theory that we send money back home back home being india pakistan bangladesh what is what gave you guys the idea to give to children in need so in the past in fact we've raised a lot of money for a lot of charities that's back home as well as here. We've given money to Band-Aid, we've given money to disasters, floods, earthquakes, and you know, so we, we have been helping. But this particular event, we thought all the profit should go to children in need. And in fact, we're so lucky that the businessmen, you know, and uh, in our community does help us a lot. And they're very, very generous. Good evening, people. 
whole busy your um, charter, so you probably don't want to hear me much, I won't take long. Uh, first of all, you, you all know, or if you are not aware, um, today's profit will all go to children in need. Children in need is a national registered charity, and you may have seen the fundraising day on the BBC. Um, they always have a, a program in November every year. Uh, children in need raises awareness and understanding of issues that impact children in not only UK, but all over the world as well. Uh, this year, Healthcare will try and donate the money by attending to the BBC studio on the fundraising day, which is held uh, in November this year. So we, we hope that we do try to get in there and hand the donation that we collect today to go there in person. Thank you, Suresh. Thank you for your generous donations. We received good donation today, and I'm really proud that uh, I can now, in front of you, reveal a check for eleven thousand one hundred and sixty-six pounds. Once again, thank you to all the sponsors who've given so generously. Thank you for sponsors who gave to today. And I can assure you that every single penny of this will go to children in need. I'm thrilled to be standing with Man of the Hour, Manu Bhai, who's basically been the man who invited us here tonight. Thank you so much for having us. You're welcome. What's been your highlight of tonight? The tonight highlight is that the amount of uh, money they have collected for the UK charity. Yeah. It's a small organization, young organizations. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've collected £10,000 on only 30 tables. That's fantastic. At the same time, you can see they will going to go into BBC and present that £10,000 check there. There is a lot to learn from this organization. Uh, for 14 years, we've been supporting these organizations. Mm -hmm. And uh, KMK is a young team, as you can see. I can see. Very energetic as well at the same time. I can see. And I know you're quite involved in social work, particularly within local communities. What advice do you have for those people at home that want to get involved in the local community? What should they do? I think they should get involved with the cultural activities like this one here and uh, should they be able to support the youngsters because these guys are obviously promoting a young culture. As you can see, you saw the young dancers yeah. and uh, so there is a lot of activities that you still don't know but they carry on. There is about uh, all the disaster which happened in the rest of the world. Yeah. They've been sponsoring a majority of the amount uh, to the charities. So they're very like a transparent. Yeah. Um, if they collect uh, nine and a half thousand pounds, then they're going to make it to a ten thousand pounds. Not that uh, like the rest of the uh, you know organisation, I would say that they have almost like a seventy percent of the administrative cost. So in that way, we feel as a company, we feel a lot more comfortable to support this uh, organisation. And I would say this Kach Mada Par Karela will go a long way. And um, they don't have to ask for money. We go forward to them to say what can we do further. Now I'm standing with two gorgeous gentlemen here of tonight's event. Gentlemen, I'm, first of all, I'm standing with the presenter of tonight. I was, yes. And the gentleman who's actually responsible for sport within the organization, right? We try and help, indeed. So tell me, what do you do with regards to sport in the organization? Well, we try and help and arrange the evenings that we have on a Saturday evening. Between five and eight, we get lots of people around. We have aerobics, we have badminton, we have yoga. And it's a fantastic evening to get lo loads and loads of people to kind of participate in sport. Fantastic. And what's been your most memorable moment of tonight? Um, well, everything really is fantastic tonight. You know, and it's unexpectedly, um, everybody's joyful, coming lots of masks, colourful masks. It's been excellent.
Well, guys, as you can see, the event here tonight is a huge success. Everyone's dancing, creating mayhem. It is fantastic. I'm off to have a fun break. You guys go and grab a quick tea or coffee break and be right back here with me on B4U after a short break. Welcome back, guys. For those of you who have just tuned in, you're watching me, Natasha Ashgar, on Talk of the Town. We're here today at the KMK Children in Need Masquerade Ball. Now, I had my fun, which certainly refreshed my appetite. Now, I'm going to take Pudsey inside and see where all the action's at. So don't go anywhere. We've got plenty more to come in this show. Yeah, we anyway. Okay, yeah. great. And how are you, Jessica? I'm having a lovely time, thank you. Right, now tell me, how are you guys involved in the organisation? Basically, our community, we organise one of these dinner and dances every year. We've done a number of dinner and dances, including uh, African Night, Arabian Night, this is another one, uh, Masquerade Night. And um, we decide from about October, November time what theme we're going to do. We get all the kids together, organise dances. We practice every week, maybe twice getting the um, performance together and it's just workshop meet we did, in our community we have a workshop as well that happens every Tuesdays and it's about five of us choreographers who uh, teach people ages of children from five to about six, five to about fifty. Wonderful that's fantastic so tell me what work do you do in the organization? Well our new member is a workshop KMK organized a workshop where they teach dances and uh, you know the traditional and modern dances. Wonderful. I'm a new member. Sorry? I'm a new member. Which new member. How long have you been a member for? As a, for the organization, yeah. about 15 years. Oh, wow. But in okay. the workshop, this is your first year. And how are you finding your first year with, your, with the workshop? Very nice. Actually, very, very good. Very good. What are you learning in the workshops? I'm actually learning uh, Gujarati dance, you know, wow. folk dance. Can you, can you give me a demo? <laughs> Don't give me a demo. Don't give me a little bit of a demo. <laughs> I can't think. Oh, God, give me a little bit of a demo. What did you learn? I need the music anyway. <laughs> Give me a little bit, just a little move, I'll do it with you. You're gonna do it with me. I'll do it with you, go on, what's the move? <laughs> go on. We're gonna do, let me go on. We've got Gumro, okay. which is like that. Okay, go on, go on, go on, okay, go on. Right, okay. with the official dancers of tonight. As you can see, there are loads of them, so this might take some time, but what are your names, guys? I'm Hetzel. I'm Jessica. Nandesh. Karishma. Bina. Okay. Channi. Priya. Maya. Swati. Kapil. Asha. Sagar. Ooh, sorry about that. Now, now, guys, your performance was absolutely amazing. Tell me, how long have you guys been practicing? Um, about four months. Wow, that was phenomenal. And how did you guys get involved in the organisation? Uh, we've all been taking part since a young age. Most of us were about five, six when we started. And every year we take part in our annual show. And we also do things like this. Wonderful. Now, what do you have to say to those viewers at home that want to get involved in something like what your guys are doing here? Um, go for it. It's really fun and it keeps you in touch with the community. And we all have a great time. So I'm joined by Swathi now, who's part of the dance, official dance group here tonight. Swathi, how long have you been uh, practicing away for the actual dance that you carried out today? Um, four months. Wow. And is it a pretty rigorous kind of routine? I can imagine you girls probably take a lot of, it needs a lot of practice to get everything in sync. When, when, do, you, when do you get time to practice? Um, on, normally on the weekends yep. and sometimes during the day, depending on like when everyone's free from work and uni and everything. And what's your age group? Because, you know, you're all quite young, you know, beautiful women and guys, I must say, handsome young men. About, about 18 to 25, yeah. We love me for you! two beautiful girls here tonight at the charity ball here in Kingsbury. Girls, what are your names? Uh, Jignessa and um, Bina. Girls, you look incredible, may I say. You look beautiful. Tell me, how it got, have you guys become involved in the organisation? Well, we've been dancing since we were about five years old. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> we've been dancing since we were quite a young age, so because it's our community, we come every single year. 
Fantastic. And how are you finding tonight? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. We just can't wait to go in there and start dancing. Fantastic. Well, I can't wait to see you like, flexing some moves you on the dance floor. joining us soon. Yeah, definitely. I'm not a very good dancer. You're make a good dancer, right? <laughs> You're a good dancer, don't you? Thank you, girls, so much. So tell me, what's been your highlight of tonight? Um, the dance that was on before, yeah. the girls in red. <laughs> I'm now joined with Kamlesh, the man behind the music here tonight, guys. Kamlesh, welcome to BFU. How are you? Thank you very much. I'm fine. How are you doing? Very well. I must say, fantastic job with tonight. How did you become involved in the organisation? Well, I've been with the organisation for the past couple of years now, and what we've been doing is like we've been working behind the scenes mm -hmm. and just making sure that everyone enjoys themselves tonight because music plays a crucial part in any event. So we try and cater for the theme and we try and cater for what the function is basically and today it's done a great job because we're trying to do the ballroom dancing and try and make sure that we run, in, run enough uh, money for uh, children in need so it's been a great performance today. And how do you feel about donating money to children in need because normally you think Indians, Pakistani, Bangladeshi organisation you think it's about sending it home back yeah. to the homeland. What, what gave the inspiration of children in need? Well I'm born and bred in the UK so children is number one priority for anyone without children you can't move forward so children in need is a fantastic charity so why not why not donate to the children and make sure that they grow up and become successful as any other people in the country well guys it's come to that point in the show where i have to bear you all farewell i've had a fantastic evening here at the children in need fundraiser here in kingsbury everyone's been so welcoming the music's been out of this world the food has been fantastic and i certainly recommend it as an evening for you to come with your family and friends I will see you very, very soon. Take care. God bless. For you, music. For you, music.